In this video, isusulat natin ang equation ng parabola in standard form. For example 1, write the equation of the parabola 2x squared plus 16y is equal to 0 in standard form. Kung mapapansin natin, sa given, ang exponent na 2 ay nasa x. So we take the standard form, quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4a times the quantity y minus k. So from the given, makikita natin na dapat si 16y ay nandito sa kabilang side. So, ililipat natin to magiging negative na siya. So, we have 2x squared is equal to negative 16y. Kung titignan natin dito sa standard form, kailangan ang numerical coefficient ni x ay 1. Pero kung mapapansin nyo dito, ito ay 2. So, magmumultiply tayo ng 1 half para maging 1 siya. So, 1 half times 2 is equal to 1. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared. And, 1 half times 16 is equal to 8. Kaya, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 8. Why? Kapag sinimplify natin to we have x squared is equal to negative 8y. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging standard form of the equation. For example, number 1. I-try naman natin ang example 2. Write the equation of the parabola y squared minus 6y plus 8x plus 25 is equal to 0 in standard form. Kung mapapansin natin, ang exponent na 2 ay nakay y. So we take the form, quantity y minus k squared is equal to 4a times the quantity x minus h. From the given, kailangan natin i-isolate si y squared minus 6y. So meaning, kailangan natin ilipat si 8x and 25 sa kabilang side. So we have y squared minus 6y is equal to negative 8x minus 25. Ang susunod na step para maging ganito ang form natin, kailangan maging perfect square trinomial itong part na to. So magkukompleting the square tayo. So we have y squared minus 6y plus blank is equal to negative 8x minus 25. Para makuha natin yung missing term, eto, kailangan natin tignan yung middle term. We have negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 is equal to negative 3. And square natin yung negative 3, that is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, ang missing term is equal to 9. Kapag nag-add tayo ng 9 sa left side, kailangan mag-add din tayo ng 9 sa right side para balance pa rin yung equation natin. And then, gawin nating square binomial ang perfect square trinomial. So, we have quantity y minus 3 squared. Naging y minus 3 dahil tinignan natin itong y squared at kinuha natin yung square root ng y squared which is y and square root ng 9 is equal to 3. Nakuha naman natin yung negative dito dahil tinignan natin ang sign ng middle term which is negative. Kaya naging quantity y minus 3 squared is equal to 8x minus 16 since negative 25 plus 9 is equal to negative 16. So simplify natin to. We have quantity y minus 3 squared is equal to negative 8 times the quantity x plus 2. So, ang ginawa lang natin, finactor lang natin itong part na to. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging standard form para sa problem na to. Uh -huh.